Hello everybody, Captain Thief Daily Dungeon, September 7th. Yeah, we've got two and a half hours left to do this. Ooh, Rat Monarch in the Labyrinth. Oh no, this could be really hard actually. Because we got to fight that Minotaur boss as well as some other boss. Maybe like the slime or something. Well, actually this isn't too bad. I mean, let, let me explain why. Because Rat Monarch kind of really excels at putting acid on the enemy and then doing as much damage as possible. Um, in a way, they're actually really good at doing it if you get burned rats, <clears throat> which, you know, we will, but we can guarantee we start off with it with the flame magnet, which I might just do. I might just do that. <clears throat> but, um, so the boss, the Minotaur, berserks at 95% health. So we really need to hit him once, then go heal ourselves up, and then come back and smack him again, <clears throat> putting tons of acid on him and then burning him to death. I think that's going to be our strategy. The Dwarven Gauntlets, the 20% bonus damage isn't that helpful, but the plus 2 health on level up is. But then again, there's no, really no difference between it and the uh, health boosters. Except we can recycle this and get even more acid power. So I think I'll go for that. I think I'll go for that. <clears throat> what else? The Fine Sword really doesn't matter for Rat Monarch, except for fighting Popcorn. Maybe. It kind of makes the starting a little bit easier, but if we're going with the burn direct, if we're going with the flame magnet strategy, and I think I might just do that, then we may just skip the fine sword and go with the soul orb. Kind of go for a mage build here. We gotta remember that every item is going to be large, though, so the soul orb is going to be <coughs> going to take up an entire slot, not just a, a small slot. Shop scroll could be useful. Remember, we're rat monarch, which means that if we ever, ever we buy something, it heals us. And mana as well. I, I forget about that. Kind of funny that it says generates regenerates fifty percent health and mana, and then it says may overheal after the mana. There's no such thing as over mana. You know, I, I tested that, and uh, putrid hornet let me know about that. So <clears throat> I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're probably going to go with the shop scroll. The kego health isn't a bad idea, but that's a lot of health potions to try and juggle. Okay, yeah. And since every item's large, well, this is going to be fun. All right, so that's everything. Oh, and compression seals never work for rat marks. I found that out too. Let's give this a go. <clears throat> Not too long ago, like I think four days ago, there was one that just seemed impossible to do. Uh, I don't really feel like fighting a level one zombie. So we're just going to not. The blue bee, that's not a bad purchase. Um. Since I have something of a ability to see what's next to the shops, I can tell where enemies are, kind of. Alright, so this little two snake killing me <coughs> instantly. I guess I will just fight the zombie, just, just for fun. Or at least, you know, to kind of get things started. Maybe he's in the way. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's the thing. Oh, uh, MP up. Don't mind if I do. The bloody sigil is worth it. I'm going to say, except for the fact that it takes up a, an entire inventory slot. Let's go and drop our shop scroll. Fireheart. That's also worth it. <clears throat> I don't know, though. I don't know. I can't smack the serpent. Can't smack the serpent without dying, anyway. Um, well, unless I buy the bloody sigil, which will help in the short run. And it's also a good item to, to you know, recycle for good stuff, but other than that, I don't really see the need for it so much. I'll think about it. Let's find out what our next uh, level 2 is, maybe. If we can find another level 2. Uh, I don't like how much darkness I'm wasting here. Um, hate to do this, but you know what? I'll just go ahead and kill a dragon. I know it's popcorn and such, but come on, guys. And... How much are you hitting me for? 3? Yeah, I can live through three. I can live through all of your three. Level two, though, is where I have to draw the line, unfortunately. Hmm. There's no way for me to take a hit and then buy this thing. Unless, maybe it heals up the damage that... I don't know. This isn't really working. Um... I'm still looking for another level 2. A zombie's a little too hard. And fighting a snake just doesn't make sense. I'm a wall. That's really dangerous here. 
I, I need Indus Wall, that's what I want. There it is. Yeah, I'll take Indus Wall, thanks. <clears throat> so let's just go ahead and make, uh, make our way around. Level 6, well that's just fine. Except that's not fine. Alright, so we're building up our physical resist so we can actually get a hit in on somebody. Which is great. That's just wonderful. Um, I, may, I think I'm not going to be using Iron Wall. I'm sorry. It's just way too risky and I would like the acid power right now rather than later. Um, fighting this level 3 versus, well... It doesn't feel like there's that big of a difference. I think. I think. How many burns would that take, even if I put on, let's say, six stacks of burn? That's still three burns. I don't think that's going to be happening, so I guess we'll just stick to level twos. Yeah. Yeah, alright, sure. Um, I got two stacks of corrode on him, that's good. And then we'll use MP to build up our physical resist again. And is that enough to... yeah, it's still enough. Cool. So let's just get six stacks on them. Oh, the Martyr Wraps. I mean, it's only one more corroded, corroding strike, but come on, that's kind of what I live for, isn't it? I'm going to use a potion, I think, of some sort. Um, I don't have enough resist yet. How about now? Just one square. I'm trying to be conservative here. Yeah, that kind of works. Um... And then, I hate doing this, but yeah, I'm just going to drink this and pick this up. Yes. Alright. Excellent-ish. I think. And, you know, I'm going to go ahead and go with Mistara. Oh, really? He's not on top of the altar, but, you know, it's still pretty annoying. Mm, I'll smack him in a minute. Let me get enough for a burn or two or something. Okay, let's go ahead and smack him now. Boom. Burn. Oh, I should have filled up on MP first. Actually. I'm doing 4 damage plus 9, so 13. As long as I heal him less than 5, I'm fine. So I can grab 4. These 4, to be exact. And still kill him. Boom. Not bad. Not bad. Let's go ahead and break down in here to Mistara's land and, you know, worship get our max MP up a bit because as right now, our, our, our max MP is limited to 11 if we have no mana boosters or whatever. So, yeah, I'm just going to put it that way. Really? Um, even with 20% resist, I'm not cursed or anything, am I? Oh, it's because I'm, I'm slightly corroded thanks to uh, my martyr wraps, that's right. Well, I tell you what. We're probably just going to work on her. That's what I'm thinking. And we'll probably work our way around here. Oh, yes, that's right. Spinning MP, like, makes me star happy. There's the keg of health anyway. Um, the boss should be about somewhere around here. So let's be careful about that. In fact, I'm going to break that. Yeah, there, he's, he's probably right there. I don't know if it's the Minotaur or what, so we'll just kind of be careful about this. Uh, go and smack her. And grab a two square, maybe. Or just break some more walls, whatever. Turning this place into cheese is good. <clears throat> um, yes, 13 stacks. So now, two burns should kill her. Boom. Boom. Actually, a smack and a burn should kill her. So let's be even more considerate about this. And just go ahead and smack her. Yes, that, that, that works for me. That works just fine. What else do I feel like buying? You know, weakening... I mean, flames is actually a pretty good idea for Rat Monarch. Ish. Ish. If you're going for the... Well, actually, no. It doesn't matter. It only takes away your attack bonus. So, it doesn't really matter. Buying flames actually kind of works. I like the idea. I'll do it. Even more flames. Now we're doing 10 damage per burn. It's it's a slight increase. A slight increase. Hello, level 2. Hello, Elven Boots. 
that I can't afford. Hint, hint. Hmm. Let's break into more places. I guess we'll probably try fighting a zombie. Let's see, if I'm if I get let's say I'm I'm at four stacks of cursive, that's pretty good. If I get, let's say, twelve stacks of cursive on that's three hits, which isn't that bad. Not that expensive. I'd like to think. We're running low on dark space though, so I should really kinda of consider this. Um Yeah, I'm I'm really running out low on dark space. What I'm thinking is Wait a minute. Okay, I was just thinking if I can recycle this, I'll get the corroding power. Except it won't put corrosive on all the enemies anymore. I mean, it's already put one on him. That's pretty good. But it's also putting one on me. I'm not a huge fan of that. You know what? I think I will just let the Minotaur come out and play. There he is. Because I have Endus Wall, I can get out of whatever situation I find myself in. And now that he's revealed, it will start putting corrode on him. That's a thing. Um... But what was I getting at? I was getting at... Wearing low in dark space. Thinking. Just thinking. Um, the soul orb is not helping right now. But then again, I haven't run into any wraiths yet. And I want to buy one more magic if I can. Soon. It's going to be a little costly, but okay. 12 stacks of corrode on him, that means 22 damage per burn. Well, okay, 23 if you want to be technical. I'm still not really beating him with two burns. What about a smack and two burns? Uh, good question. A smack means 2 damage plus 13, so 15 plus 23 times 2, or 46, so we're up to 61. So he's like really close to death at that point. It's it's a little... Zombies are kind of a, a tough customer, right? I hate doing this. But I'm just going to go ahead and do it. I hate doing it. I, I'm not a huge fan of doing it. Um, let's go ahead and break another wall around somebody else. Can I smack you yet? No. How about now? Sure. Alright, and thus I did. He's getting up there. <clears throat> I don't know if maybe I should just go ahead and recycle the soul orb. Because wraiths are really good for rat monarchs to eat if they can avoid the the mana burn. <clears throat> and that's something I want to do. But but I'll just grab these three. And then yep, that puts me at that. Oh really? Oh, because I need 40% resist to live. Sorry, Timmy, you need 40% tickets to live. Mmm, yeah. That'll do it. That'll do it. It's up to 13. Alright, so we'll just work on one more smack. And... Well, actually, you know... One more... Burn or something. Uh, yeah, well, I need to live through one more smack, is what I want. There's the other boss. I, I kind of want to keep my mana burning sword now, so you know, I'm kind of glad I hung on, hung on to that. Um, Miss Star, go ahead and give me another thing. Thanks. And I will try and discover darkness that might hold stuff, or enemies in this case. <clears throat> okay, this will hurt him quite a bit. Let's hope it's enough. Pretty good. Pretty good. I'm gonna go and drink the mana potion, and if we heal him up twice, he's gonna heal six health. Which is not enough for him to live. Boom. And there he is. Hey, how's it going? If only there was a, a switch here or something that would, you know, replenish all the darkness. That would be really helpful for me. Just saying, game. So now that I'm level three, I should be looking at level fours and level fives. Like this guy again so you know let's let's go ahead and do somewhat of a repeat performance but not really um yeah fine sword that's great and all but not that great sorry let's go ahead and break a whole bunch of walls 
Walls and lols. I'm kind of feeling like I can probably take them on now. Ish. But let's just keep at this a little bit longer. One more. And then let's fill up. Oh, sidestep. I love sidestep. I think I'll take it. I think I will take it. Can I make this a lot easier? <clears throat> In fact, I might be able to take on the bull with it because I'll be able to put corrosive on him a whole bunch. There's just not enough darkness to make it work, though. I don't know, guys. I just don't know. I do not regret going with flames, though. For Rat Monarch, it actually makes sense. Weakening. I. There's no real point behind that. Sorry. Let's go ahead and heal up. Oh, hi. Gotta be looking at our shops. Ah, the spoon. Gotta be looking at our shops as prospective potions. Yeah, that's not happening. That's not happening either. I'm thinking I might be able to take... Well, I guess this level 4 kind of makes sense. Yeah. And we'll break this. And then we'll come back and we'll smack him again. Dang you, Soul Orb. I need you for him, but... I don't know. There's just not much else for me to say, I guess. Okay, so what are we looking at with him? Is that 15? So I should be doing 30 damage per burn. I think this is somewhat working. Okay. If that's the case, then we'll go for it. Yeah, and then I can just kill or smack somebody even. Boom. There, I prepped a popcorn. You happy? I can't prep that popcorn as much. Alright, you. I need to look into killing these guys at some point. In fact, maybe I'll just try and load up on corrosives and stuff. Hmm. Just thinking about what's the cheapest things I can buy that will help with this. Level oh, five zombie. I'm not. I'm. I'm not in for that. All right. I'm just not looking forward to it. Hmm. Actually, I can break walls and stop his fuddy duddy business. Uh, let's see about that. That should let me live, right? Okay. Well, one more breakage will do it. I'm thinking. Just two more. And... I feel like breaking out the piety is kind of a good idea. Okay, now I can totally survive a hit. Which is great, but is it what I want to do with my life? Kind of. Kind of. I'm almost out of darkness. This one feels like I've already lost-ish. Ish. If I had the Viper Ward, that would be helping against these snakes. Let me tell you that. But there was no Viper Ward, there was just the Soul Orb thing. Maybe I want to take her on. Level 7, that kind of makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. Yeah, she'll heal her wounds, but she'll never heal her acid. Ha 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 ha. And I think it should only take me one breakage to live through this, right? <clears throat> Ish? No. Dang, it's two breakages. Alright, fine. Finally, fine. Um, break this wall. I don't, I don't know why. Just, just do it. Boom. Okay, so we're we're doing all right with our stacks of corrode. She's up to fourteen because I put two on her just through the martyr wraps. By the way, what's down here? Uh, this is interesting. It's pissorf. Pissorf kind of changes things a little bit, just a bit, because I can put a whole bunch of corroding on Rex and then piss off enemies into him. I kind of like the idea of doing that. Kind of. But I also like the idea of being a level higher before I do so. So let's, uh, let's give that some thought. I wish there was a way I could spend my ex excess health 
Okay, maybe I'll just spend my excess health prepping popcorn. That's what I'll do. There we go. I kind of have not a handle on things. Kind of. Alright, we have excess health again. Um, oh, that's right. By prepping popcorn, I'm wasting my physical resist. Okay, never mind. I'm not that smart. Sorry to have confused you. Um, you know, I'm a wall. Probably would have been helpful at this point. He realizes only too late. Uh, Mystic Balance, you would actually be really helpful because... Well, it would kind of make Pissorf more expensive, but Indus Wall, Sidestep, and, you know, Burnder has to be cheaper. I'm going to go for it. There we go. There we go. I mean, it's going to save Darkness, whatever Darkness is left. Okay, and I, I can afford to smack her. Cool. 20 stacks of corrosion, doing 40 damage per burn. That's pretty darn good. <clears throat> I'm gonna get a free hit in on her, in on her too. Um, dare I use up my death protection for this? <sighs> Maybe. Maybe. I didn't need those two last two. Let's go ahead and break a wall. Or two. And then, ooh, thanks to health. Now we have enough for a free hit and two burns. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. It's going horrendously, but not bad. Okay. So now what do I do with my excess health? I'll spend my excess health before... Really? I guess I really need to prep some of these popcorns. Make them one-hittable. Okay. That works. Maybe this level 3 as well? Yeah. Alright. Um... Just to kind of get around high level enemies. As well as find out what they're hiding. I'll do this. Alright. So, maybe two... Just trying to think. I want... I need enough base damage to make this work, and I think four, da four base damage is enough. I think you have to have a minimum of three base damage in order for Piss Orp doing damage to the enemy behind them. No idea if that's right or wrong, just, just kind of a guess. Um, I want to start putting on Corrodes on him as much as possible, and then I also want to move him somewhere where I can Piss Orp him into an enemy a whole bunch. Preferably an enemy I would like to see dead. Like, you know, Tomothy Longdoll. That'd be a good idea. I could go for that. Okay, so we'll, we'll probably go for that. Um, let's go ahead and break another wall somewhere. Is that enough? No, it is not. The world is not enough. Really? 82 times 0.6, guys. That's 48, isn't it? Oh, right, the... Corrosives. Now these minor wraps have kind of caused a little more trouble than they're worth, I think. No offense. Um. This is kind of a long one. I don't want to spend all my time on this. Or all my. I don't want to spend an extra Indus wall putting acid on him. I can do it to him, but he poisoned me at that point. <clears throat> so, who? Maybe this level 4. Why this level 4? Well, that would waste my physical resist, so... Uh, I just don't know anymore. I just don't know anymore. I mean, I'm getting plenty of piety with Miss Star, thankfully. Yeah, I'll go and smack him. Um, do I care to get smacked through a wall, maybe? Just to kind of open the wall? No, not really. So, smack. Cool. Eight stacks of crude on him. Not bad. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Okay, I have extra health. Now's probably not the time to be doing this. But I, I did it anyway. 
Um, let's try and level up. Leveling up sounds like a good idea. We'll break this. And then we'll find all these. And then we'll discover down here. And can I still smack you in? Yeah. Definitely. Oh. This level 7 probably would have been a better target. Same amount of health, actually. Less health, actually. More damage, actually. But I, I feel like I can deal with her more. Um, that's level 5. I've already started on this guy. Well, I don't know. I don't know. This one is meant to be hard. Rat Monarch is not a very easy class to play, I think. A little more health, and I think I can just go ahead and... Oh. Well, I'll just take some from down here. There we go. There we go, I think. And... Then let's go ahead and, I don't know, break out this piety. Maybe this piety. Oh. Let's break out darkness. That's probably the the thing I want. Oh, man. They have so many enemies up there. Okay. I'm gonna start using this. Darkness. This is not a good sign. Hmm. We're up to 40% resist. I should be able to put another on her. Yeah. But we're not quite to where I want to be. Um, what do I recycle? The soul orb, probably. We'll just try and fight Tomothy Longdahl without getting mad burned. So now we have another, you know, corrosive, and I can drink health potions or mana potions or something. Um, two health potions will not let me live through this. She's got 12 stacks of corrode. Okay, I'm only doing 16, that's right. Um, thinking. Thinking to thinking. I don't really want to buy the spoon yet. I need it as a source of good stuff. If I heal up five stacks, she'll heal 30 damage. She'll be back up to 59. I can't do 59 damage in one burn. <laughs> so, it's it. I'm going to have to drink a mana potion. Boom. Alright, level up. That's, that's good. That's good. I guess. Hmm. Level 5 now. Well, let's kill some of our popcorn. Really. Boy, I, I'm not looking forward to this. I am not. I just am not. Oh, this one's prepped. That's good. And we'll try and kind of make this work. Smack. Barely lit. Okay, because I'm barely below half health, that's why. Let me go and fix that. By probably sneaking back here. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Popcorn management, guys. I, I don't really get it either. These will be my last two EXP, I want to say. I can just kill him. I kind of like that idea. And I don't like this idea too much, but I need the darkness. I need this darkness. Okay, we're up to 40% that I'm going to waste. Actually, no, I'm not going to waste. We're going to put it on the, the Minotaur, dang it. Um, it's safe, but only because he's damaging this guy a whole bunch. I can kill this guy regularly anyway. Dang, I, I wish I could make him smack me into somebody else. Um, 17 corrosions. 17 corrosions is not the best thing in the world, guys. Yeah, I don't know. This this one is a little beyond my uh, skills. Which is not hard for it to be, because I'm not that great, I guess. 
Um... I want the physical resist to go to good use. So, I did that. I did that. In fact, let's go ahead and spend my death protection on two. There we go, 25%. Good. It's good. In fact, 8 MP for a sidestep is a lot better than, what, 15, 18 MP for three Indus walls? Uh, yeah. Let's save the rest of our MP for whatever we're doing. Oh. There's nothing else that we're really doing. I can burn him quite a bit now, though. That's good. Let's try Let's try going for that. As much as I want to piss off him. In fact, let's go talk to the dragon and make sure I was right about it giving me piss off. Yes. Oh, he just gives it to me. Alright. Thanks, I suppose. Then we'll recycle glyphs. I don't really need that much anymore. I'm thinking Indus Wall is probably first on the chopping block. No offense in this wall. Sidestep two, actually. Yeah, I'm not going to be death protection winning anymore. Cool. Kind of burning him to death. Not bad. Um, let's health potion up, and then kind of move him over here. I think. Yeah, I'll smack the dragon. Yeah, I'll heal up slightly. Yeah, I'll smack the dragon again, and then I'll kill the dragon. And that's my punishment for... Okay, I should kill him here, then... Yeah. This isn't... This isn't going all that good. This is not going all that good. Um... Let's buy the spoon. I'm kind of in the home stretch here. If there is a home stretch. I wish I was here when I did that. Um, I want to push Rex into that guy. So what I'm going to do is not push him here because then I won't have a way out. That would suck. No if ands, or buts about it, that would suck. But he's only two pushes away from... No! Well... Actually, that doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. I, I, only, I, I was thinking about pushing him this way, and up this way, and so he's two pushes away from being pushed either way, alright? That's just how that is. Okay. Um, what next? The Indus Wall? I'm thinking the Indus Wall, except I kind of like the idea of breaking out walls still. He's doing enough damage that I'm never going to be Indus Walling anyway, so whatever. I'm good with this. I'm good with this if you're good with this. Okay, now we can push him into Tomothy a whole bunch. I think this is kind of working. I think. I think. I got pretty much everything I want from this, so we're, we're good. We're good. Um, uh, but what do I do about this level up thing I have going on for me? Well, that's the thing. I, I kind of can't do it. I kind of can't do it. Yet. So let's drink all our mana potions. And start pushing him into Tomothy. So he's doing a pretty good amount of damage there. And then we will recycle another glyph that we don't need as much. And we'll push. Then we'll drink this. Is there one more... Darkness square I can get. Kind of. Kind of. It's this one. I don't know if that matters though. Kind of feels like it doesn't. So we won't care. Um, let's go ahead and push him again. I've got 38 gold. I'm not going to spend it on whoop as. Let's look for cheap things first. This mana bead sounds divine. So I'm probably going to do that. Nice. Two piss orfs. Alright. We're kind of winning this. Uh, blue bead. I don't know. We might just recycle it. 
this bloody sigil next kind of makes some sense. The corrode is killing me. I wish I were kidding. Well, if whatever I buy next will give me over health. Yeah. What's cheap? What's cheap and I don't mind recycling it? Probably... Or using it even if in the case of the health potions, I guess. What's this? Troll heart? I'm thinking the bloody sigils next. Okay. Blue bead is awesome, but I, I can't move him from where he is by killing anybody. That's just not going to work. Um, I will go ahead and prep him though, which was unnecessary because these two are probably ready to go anyway. Whatever, whatever. I'm I'm fine. I'm fine. Who said I'm not? Also, Ramar can safely desecrate Tarog, but. I don't really see a reason to. Yet. Okay, let's go ahead and buy that bloody sigil. Um, after recycling the spoon. And boom. Alright, that's another Pissor for me. I suppose. And... Then we can recycle the bloody sigil. I kind of like the extra health it's giving me. Not that that really matters, but it is kind of helping. So I'll let it stay for now. He's not very corroded. Um, he is, however. We're six piss -offs away from victory. Um, at some point we're going to have to decide when we're going to just get rid of Burnderaz, though. Yeah. Right, let me consider my options again. Also getting... Getting... Mana Burn peeves off Mistara. So let's, let's consider that. Okay, so any more glyphs or anything? Any more help? Yeah, alright. Cool. I don't know what else to do. Except for maybe buy more stuff. That seems like the thing to do. Um, blue bead. It's been real. And this would give me more, one more stack of corrode, which is nice. But I might just need that health more. Find some more. That's six fifteen. Six fifteen. Hmm. I'd best go with what's most useful. Oh, the Elven Boots are a little beyond my ability to afford, so never mind. What would what would actually make the most sense for me to buy? Oh, I know, the Shadenford. Yeah, let's do that. There we go. There we go, kind of. Kind of. All kinds of kind of. And then we drink it. And then we smack somebody who we don't care does damage to us, but we don't want to kill him either. He's doing 13 damage to us. I don't know if the corrode helps, so let's kind of make it somebody who's hitting me a little harder, actually. Uh, the snake, he's hitting me a little too hard, personally. I don't want to be poisoned. I don't want to be poisoned. I don't want to be dead. Um... You are probably my meal ticket. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Full of MP now. Cool. No push, and then push. Oh man, this is this is difficult for me to do, but I gotta do it. And then we'll push. Can I buy one more thing? From anywhere? Not really. Not really. I can kill him. No, I can't. I need one more square, actually. Just one more square. Um... Here's what I'll do. I should be able to kill him with a Pissorf and... Not him with a Pissorf, actually. I need to push him into him, uh, like, two more times, honestly. That's why, that's why I really need to happen. 
Can I turn Mystic Balance off? Would that be alright with you, Mistara? Is there anything I can buy from here that would help? Not really. I can convert out. That'd be just fine. And I can desecrate. But to what end? Talrog might just help. I mean, uh, Dracul, actually, because I can just take this for free, get some piety. Blood Swell, I don't like the idea of the curse. Blood Shield, I don't care. Blood Hunger, I don't care. Hmm. Here's, here's what I should have done. I should have converted the Pissorf instead of the Burned Raz. And then I'd still be able to burn them both. Kind of. Kind of, kind of. I'm going to do one more look for something to buy. Otherwise, I think I've barely lost. Barely lost. Not my favorite kind of lose, by the way. Seriously, if I can get to that, that would be fine. Um, just looking around. Not seeing any more stores. No, I'm not. He'd kill me. I'm one MP away from victory, guys. Okay, well, I guess here's something I can do. I can... Just level up. Just level up. He'll run to me, I'll kill him with piss warp through a wall. And that will be that. And then for this guy, I guess I'll try and just kill him as best I can with health or something. Yep, that's all I can do. I'm sorry, I'm gonna do one more scan for black space. I'm not seeing any. I'm not seeing any. I'm not seeing any sub dungeons either. Rail. Um, on that note, I might as well do this. I can kill you, right? He's only doing 14. I'll have enough. And this will put Kurosis on him. This will make my star a little mad. I don't care. I don't care. I just don't care. Alright. Aw, oh, man. I need to push him into somebody. Uh, can I kill you? Yes. I can. Let's just go ahead and kill Tomothy then. And... Still having some difficulty here. I need to push... I need to do enough damage to him and live. I need some resist. Let's see. 15% wouldn't do it. Death protection would do it. Hmm. Well, that kind of put me really close to leveling. All things considered. So I guess I can just level catapult again. Yeah, I think I can just do that. Not liking the idea of getting poisoned. Um, I'll move here. I can still get out. Cool. Alright, one more level. I guess I'll kill the poisoning one, because I'll heal the poison. Not bad. And then I can piss off him into a wall. Alright, there we go. A close one. A very close one, guys. Alright, but I won. I somehow won. I don't know how. 41 minutes, that sounds about right. Am I one of the few, the proud? No, not really. Uh... People went with extra glyphs and apothecaries and such. I guess my flame magnet wasn't that helpful. My reasoning for it, though, was if I could kill the early enemies easy enough. Kakato, teach me your secrets. Uh, my, my idea was it would help me kill the early enemies easy enough. And then I wouldn't have to... Um, I wouldn't waste as much dark space, I guess, looking for the right high levels, you know? 
or looking for the burned rest in the first place. So that was my reasoning, and it would give me a reason, uh, something to spend my MP on. But that's all I can say for now. Thanks for watching, you guys. It's been Captain Thief playing Desktop Dungeons, September 7th. Very close one. Felt like I was going to lose, except, you know, if you knew what was going on, I guess. But I didn't. I didn't. Oh well. Um, I'll try and do better. Maybe I just need to practice with Rat Monarch or something. I'll see you guys in the next one.